the first F1 race of the season is in the books, and guess what? With silly season at the start of January, because man, Tommy left. WTF1 thoughts on it? You haven't given your thoughts on it, so give them. <laughs> Matt and Tommy. <laughs> well, they're doing all right for themselves since they uh, right, they, they so, started their own channel, P1, with Matt and Tommy. So, right, so essentially, let's call it a spade a spade. The 300,000 subs, right? Now, for WTF1, they were working for people, right? And How many subs did WTF have? Can we get at a comparison? Height, they had 1.17 Wait, so they've million. actually lost subs? Yes, but it's just these two with this channel. Right. WTF1 was, they worked it? for people. They own this channel. Yeah, I, I get they owned it. No shit. I get that. That's the story. That's why they left WF1, because they were taking a wage. And now they'd rather have, like, the, the money. Just yep. like we like the money in our but, channels. But, but, but my, opinion, you know, my point is, they, they made it that they were doing a risk. How was it a risk? Well, maybe they felt like they could have started a new channel and that maybe would have bombed. And but it was never going to bomb because the whole reason WTF one was a big thing was because of these, these two? two. Aye. Well, who, who's in charge of WTF one and like the race? The race. Aye. All right. Well, who's who else is on WTF one? You said it was these two and some woman. Aye, but she's no there. But we've got a bunch. But look, see, these ones have started to like look. We've got Martin Brundle trying, but look at right. Look at the fuse difference. So we've got fifty two k, eighty k, forty three k, thirty three k, twenty five. Brundle's the draw. Um, even that that used to be his wee show, and then this guy, don't know who he is, seventy k, twenty two k. Well, the fuse are better than ours. I'll give them credit. Like, I'll give them a credit is due. But if you look at this, yeah, they're getting like triple, quadruple. Ten times, and yet they have like less than a third of the subscribers. Well, see, they've lost a hundred thousand subs. Well, that what that tells me is people are only people are mainly watching WTF one for Matt and Tommy. Exactly, but no, it gets me right. I used to listen to that podcast when they were on it. Right, I I put their podcast on. And what do you think the first thing they that talked about was? On the were there were a few in Friday practice. What what was the first topic they talked about? What WTF one? Yeah. Well, I'd like to think it wasn't Matt and Tommy, like, but it, no, it wasn't right. You know what it was? It was the fact that Hamilton got a medical exemption. The wear a nose ring, right? See, so after Friday, what was the main talking point? What are people shouldn't? How competitive hear? Alonso looked? Not fucking if Lewis Hamilton's got a nose ring, but why is that? Because they're lefty liberal. Woke British biased bastards, honestly. And uh, and Hamilton get Hamilton getting rights to wear a nose ring is more important than Alonso's pace and the fact that he was no, challenging the Red Bulls. Exactly. I mean, but well, there you go, guys. I'm learning here, but uh, I think I think I've just nailed it. On the but, like, but but look but look at look at these guys' titles. It's about Alonso and the Aston Martin. Ah, it's stuff. about the, it's about the races. I mean, it's a, it's about the stuff that's relevant. Those other ones seem to be talking about... See, at the end of the day, right? See if Hamilton gets an exemption or... I don't give a fuck about his nose piercing. That's not newsworthy, that, That's a fed for a different day. It's not even a fed, is it? No, it's not really a fed. I mean, I mean maybe I'd milk it like, but... I mean, something you'd maybe mention in a fed like, but it wouldn't be the talking point if I don't understand... Surely you wouldn't make a fed for the sole purpose of talking about Hamilton's nose ring. No, but how, how does a medical exemption allow him to wear jewellery, but not everyone else? Hey, what? What, what is this medical exemption? Surely know, a medical like... exemption would, extension would be... Uh, to wear, I don't know, contact lenses or um, to have glasses on or something like no, or to have a pacemaker fit it or something like. I something like that, but <laughs> you know, like I mean, what, what, what the, how does a nose ring like? Do, is that nose ring piercing? Is that critical for Hamilton to like survive? I mean, does, it's does, just him to show. Look he, at me, I'm against, I'm against the FIA and the authority because no one else gives a shit. I think it's pathetic for Lewis. Like, no, I do. See always. the last couple of years. Like, I've actually went off Lewis big time. I know. I, 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 he was beginning. His fashion sense is. You know what? I could not stand him back in the day, but he was beginning to win me over. Like, you know, he was. I was beginning to think, you know what? This guy's no bad, especially when he's put Sebastian in his place. But he's, he's dropped. Right, but anyway, the, 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 the point of this video was to compare the two channels. And I said that. Well, let's compare then. Let's go. Well, I mean, we've already compared the numbers, but I, I think these, I mean, the, sub count, they'll overtake them within, uh, probably by the end of the season. When did they start their channel? Start of February, so a month. Jesus Christ, a month? Have a look, I'll, I'll go back to the start. Yeah, and, and hold on, now, now with the F1 season underway, they're going to get more traffic. Exactly. Because let's be honest, like, during the, the off F1 season, 
No, I mean, no one really talks about it. Exactly, and that's why this because, Channel 4 Grayson's getting all the traffic. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, the season's back. No, but let's be real, I don't feel like... I don't know, it's not like football where there's transfer windows and stuff like that. See, in F1's, like, normally by the end of the previous season, all the seats have been filled. Yeah. I know it's not always the case, but normally by the end of the se- a season, you already know who's driving for who next season. Like, you know, wasn't... Oh, we weren't sitting in January going, oh, I wonder where Fernando Alonso's going to end up. We already know he's signed a contract for Austin Martin. So I feel like I feel like F1 during the off-season, it does. It's just it kind of loses any sort of importance that it has. So for those guys to, to gain nearly 3,000, let's call it 3,000 uh, su- subscribers during the off-period. 3,000. I mean, yeah, I'm, I can only imagine now that the F1 season has begun, get a couple of races under their belt. I mean, I'd expect them to be... I think I think after the first couple of races they'll probably surpass five hundred thousand, like half a mil. I'd say so too, but this is an update. I like because you know what people are talking about it. Our fids are blowing up talking about these two channels. <laughs> like it's, like, of... it's like it's like it's like the Monday Night Wars, but it is. but it's the it's the every two weeks sort of war. Uh, the Monday Night Wars, but instead of going eighty three weeks, they're going to go every single fucking week. And that's it, guys. For Grace, and we'll be back tomorrow to discuss Ferrari. And uh, they're just going to um, make a reset up change. And I think we'll be dis- also be discussing George Russell and his comments that Red Bull could win every single race this season. So make sure you tune in for those ones. And uh, yeah, if you could help up get us to 288,000 subscribers as well, we would uh, greatly appreciate that. I greatly appreciate that too. P1 with Matt and Tommy. You know, they, they quit. They left their regular jobs, so to speak, to, to go alone. And that's what we plan on doing as well. So hi. Fair play, <laughs> No surrender. Well. Till then, peace. Woo.